Tonight, NXT and Dynamite head-to-head. This will be the first time they've been head-to-head since October 18, 2022. So basically, exactly 51 weeks ago. And at that time, Dynamite did 752,000 viewers in a .26. NXT did 676 and a point one eight, So this will be the next round of this. And both sides, both sides, it's not even like, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm used to stupid stuff on my Twitter. But uh, there was a guy today, let me read this, because it was so, it was so stupid, I, I actually acknowledged it. This guy here goes, it's about TV rights, not beating the bingo hall fiasco, but okay. This was J Dog. Yeah. J Dog. I wish J Dog would call in so I could ask him if it's just about TV rights, why isn't John Cena on the show every week? Why isn't The Undertaker on the show every week? Why are they all on the show this particular week? Obviously. The whole idea of having main roster people on NXT is to build up the number for the TV rights deals, which are coming due. But you don't see what's happening today, brother? You don't see what's going on? Do I have to explain it to you? I'd be happy to. j Dog. Well, you see, j Dog. today these two shows are going head-to-head, and NXT has announced that, uh, and they started this, they first announced that uh, the first 30 minutes of the show would go commercial-free. And then AEW announced their first 30 minutes of the show are going to go commercial-free. NXT, of course, always has an overrun, but today they have, and this is not actually unlimited, but an unlimited overrun. They can go much further if they want to. So then, of course, AEW announced, well, we're also going to have an overrun. And so now they both have a commercial-free 30 minutes. They both have an overrun. Then AEW announces, we're going to have a buy-in 30 minutes before the show on Axe and and uh, and what else? YouTube. Facebook, YouTube, yeah. whatever. They've got a buy-in where Eddie Kingston will defend the strong open weight and the Ring of Honor world titles against Minoru Suzuki. Then we'll have the actual shows where Dynamite has Adam Copeland in his AEW wrestling debut. He will face the giant Luchasaurus. Christian Cage will explain his recent actions towards Adam Copeland. So that's two Adam Copeland segments. We've got a number one contenders match, Brian Danielson versus Swerve Strickland. The winner gets Christian coming up here on Saturday's Collision. Soraya defends the AEW world title against Hikaru Shida. We have Ray Phoenix maybe defending the AEW international title against John Moxley, but I still don't know what's going on there. We've got Jay White versus Hangman Page. We have got Chris Jericho versus Powerhouse Hobbs. We have an appearance by MJF, and we have timeless Tony Storm is ready for her close-up. That is the Dynamite Show. And then on NXT, we have got Braun Breaker versus Carmelo Hayes with Paul Heyman and John Cena. You can see him tonight if you watch NXT. We've got the great Asuka wrestling Roxanne Perez. We have Butch Ridge Holland and Tyler Bate versus Gallus. Cody Rhodes. Fresh off, thank God not breaking his neck in the main event of Raw last night. He has got an announcement. And then, of course, we have appearances by both Becky Lynch and, yes, the man who does not even appear on Raw or SmackDown, straight from the morgue, The Undertaker. The Undertaker is going to be on the show. Now then, gets even better. Tony Khan today on social media delivered a message to Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Yes. He essentially tweeted, I guess WWE teased that Undertaker and, like, uh, whoever was going to be appearing, 
And then Khan posted a message calling Levesque and Michaels bald a holes. <laughs> it's to curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, man. That is what this has now come to. He tweeted to call them bald a holes. After following up uh, a tweet that somebody had sent him about Vince McMahon, about uh, something that Vince had done, and Tony responded, I will find the exact tweet to get it correct, but basically uh, intimated that Vince is guilty of a lot more sins than whatever this person talked well. about in the tweet here. But uh, look, somebody, look, Dagan asked, oh boy, I'm glad Semp finds this so humorous. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'll tell you why. I, I have no money invested in this. I'm not employed by either one of the companies. I'm a fan watching at home tonight as these two behemoths of the wrestling business put on their shows and throw everything they can at the wall for one night on a random Tuesday in October while there's baseball on. I'm greatly entertained. This has gone from the point of being a little ridiculous to completely being sublime for me with the way they're trying to one-up each other. And then Tony throwing in the one thing that they can't do over with the USA. Although, who knows? We'll see. Maybe they'll have a half-hour pre-show. Maybe they'll start at 7.57 like they used to do with Raw back in the day with Nitro. Who knows? I don't care. Whatever. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to be greatly entertained because of the discourse that's going on. Look, to act for them to act like promoters, I'm not surprised at all. And this is, if Tony was doing something completely out of character, I guess you could kind of hold his feet to the fire. But when Dana White or Vince McMahon or Paul Levesque or Tony Khan or Bob Arum or Don King or whoever act like who they are when they're promoters... I'm greatly entertained. I don't expect him to be any other way. If Shad Khan here, started Lenny acting here. this way, then I would have a concern. But Tony doing this on his birthday? Are you kidding me? He's having a field day with this. Well, he is, but Lenny here goes, wait, it's fine when Triple H called them a pissant t-shirt company, but bald a-hole is over the line. What well, was wrong listen, with the pissant t-shirt company? You can, you guys, Whose these, feelings hold are on a second. These God. guys can say whatever they want, but... Who cares? As we all know from the internet, which sucks, okay, <laughs> I think we can all admit that when we finally start resorting to personal attacks, if nothing else, you come across like you're gotten to. So, bro, there's They're a million things. To, Brian, you've there's a about million things that you can say back and forth, but we've actually dropped to bald a holes. It's a reference. <laughs> Whatever. It's a reference Who from cares? a TV show. I know exactly. it is, but Who oh, cares, he just took Brian? a random reference. He could have. He could have taken it from Gilligan's Island, but he just happened. <laughs> Uh, he was calling them bald a-holes. Come on. What do you want him Ridiculous. to say, Brian? What do you want him to say? He doesn't have say? to say anything. Just book the best <laughs> show and try and win tonight. That's what the other side should be doing, too. And that's what they're doing. This is just a spectacle. Let it be a spectacle for oh, one Oh, it's night. a spectacle now. It's an absolute... It is. It's completely ridiculous. And who knows? Look, NXT with that unlimited time, it's probably going to be one minute past whatever AEW does. But look at that. Can you imagine them pushing until 11.30 or 10.30 at night with an NXT show again on a random Tuesday in October? Again, it's ridiculous. Let them be ridiculous. Get it out of their systems. Come on. Get it out of their systems? Sure. Let me tell you what's not going to happen, Mike. <laughs> They're not going to get it out of their systems. They will for Listen, a couple of days hold on until a the next time no, they bro. head to head. Hold on a second. You think it's bad now? It hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> well, tonight it's going to happen, and then tomorrow there's going to be a winner and a loser. Yes. So you think Absolutely. they're going to get it out of their systems? You no, think the no. loser's going to go, ah, I lost. I'm going to move on to something else now. Of course not. Cause Think again, have to brother. Respond to whoever is pouring it on him, whoever wins, and it gets to be one up on him. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do: Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.